Welcome to Sarasota. Dude, there's been so many people down here. Let's go hit the water and beware of the alligator. That was insane. Did you hear that? Welcome to Sarasota, Florida. I am uh, down here for about three or four days with my family. Today I decided to go fishing, so I got my fishing pole in the back. I'm riding on one of these classic uh, Florida tricycles. Heading up here to the Pinecraft Park to do a little fishing, and I found a couple other spots to go fishing at on Google Maps, so I might head over there if I'm not having any luck here at the Pinecraft Park. We'll see once. I've never gone fishing before in Florida, ever. So, this should be pretty fun. The pond that I'm going to has alligators in it, so might see some alligators there. That can make things interesting. So, here we go. There's a giant croc. Whoa, that's a big one. Literally, that gator making the noises. That was insane. Did you hear that? He did it like three times before I got the camera turned on. He's like shake and let out this like roar, like a gator roar. I've never seen a gator here before. They're usually up on the other side in the pond. Wow, that was crazy. I was just driving, came off the road right back here, was just driving up this trail and I, I saw him, so I stopped. And I'm not sure how well if you can hear that or see that in the video, but he was like shaking himself and made like a literally sounded like that. And he was over there in the shade. So I got over there and watched him for a couple minutes and then he just slowly sunk down. So wouldn't recommend swimming out there anytime soon because uh, that's that's so sketchy. Anyway, I'm gonna keep on getting back here and uh, see if I can catch a fish. All right, well made it here to the pond. Another alligator out there with just his head sticking up out of the algae. Assuming that there's bass in here, I'm gonna start off with spinnerbait and I actually got these for free. We were at the Columbus Fishing Expo and uh, there was a guy who just walked by and he was like, hey, you want some free spinnerbaits? And he gave us two of them, I think. I've never tried them out yet and I'm gonna try them out today. See if we can catch us some bass. So the GoPro was working this morning and then all of a sudden it cut out and I charged the batteries and it still didn't work. So I won't be having any GoPro angles while I'm fishing. First round with the spinner. Let's go. I'll probably get it all tangled up and stuff. Biking over here to a pond that we, Kayla and I drove by last night. So, I'm gonna uh, see if there's any fish. I'm gonna bite over here. Alright, so I ended up here at a park that Kayla and I saw last night when we were biking to tie it on this stick bait. And there's like no algae, no seaweed here. Let's go hit the water and beware of the alligator. I do not really know how to even fish these baits. Is that a turtle there? Great, first cast. Switching it up again. Hey. 
All right, it's actually the same evening. I came, just came back here to this other pond. I'm gonna be throwing uh, this crankbait here for a bit before I switch over to a top water. I was reading online someplace and they said a lot of fish will hit top water down here this time of the year. So. And also there's like a bunch of kids over here in this park because this is a public park. So kind of got to expect it. <laughs> this is like the second lipless crankbait I've ever owned. So if I can catch one fish, I'll be happy. I'm definitely seeing some top water action and lots of ducks. I'm seeing top water hits. I'm, I'm switching over while there's still light. This is the only top water plug I have, so I hope it works. Okay, I'm gonna try to fish with this thing for about the rest of the night. See if I can get any, anything to bite. Seems like they're hitting out here. Last cast. All of a sudden, bugs are just getting terrible. That's it for tonight. Still zero fish. All right, so that's a wrap here on Florida. I didn't catch any fish because I'm not good at fishing, um, especially in new places that I really have no idea what I'm doing. It's also really high humidity out here, and that's why my lens keeps fogging up. But yeah, so that's it for the fishing for Florida. Um, I just thought I really should post it because of that alligator encounter. That was insane. If you know anything about the United States, Florida's at the bottom, and then Ohio's closer to the top. In between there is South Carolina, and that's where we're going to be heading today on our way home. Hopefully get there this evening and go out in the morning and try to kill a Tom. Cody has a, a turkey tag because he's under 16. He got it for free. We have one morning to try to shoot a turkey in South Carolina. Hopefully we can get it done. Let's go.